it was a challenge because mm. it was really interesting to play a, a living character that mm. was my first time and uh, and a very popular one <laughs> How are you? Fine, very well. Good. How's Miami treating you so far? Very well. well yeah? I just arrived a couple of hours ago, but very well. Okay. <laughs> um, so we can see in the movie that this is an intimate story that presents a very dramatic transition, you know, in a very powerful position like the Catholic Church. Do you think the, the Catholics are going to experience the movie in a different way from people that are not religious at all or, exper or practice another type of religion? Um, well, no, I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, uh, for the for the Catholics, it's going to be a, a plus, a plus in the, in this uh, because it's about a lot about the church and about the two very different positions: conservative, uh, very conservative, and very liberal. But I think the the, the movie, you know, uh, talks in a very different layer layers, you know, very different levels. So I think it's gonna in it's gonna be very touching for everybody, not, not only for Catholics. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, also, these two characters are holy men, but what you can see in the movies is that they are men. Yeah. But still, did, did you have the pressure to portray what we call a holy man and that is st still alive, like Pope Francis? Well, no, it wasn't a pressure. It was a, it was a challenge because mm. it was really interesting to play a, a living character. That mm -hmm. was my first time and, uh, and a very popular one. And, uh, and I, I made a lot of research about that, so the, it was very interesting. I was a little bit terrifying at the beginning with, uh, well, everybody's going to, you know, uh, it wasn't like that, it's not mm. so similar, but, but then with Fernando working, uh, I, I, he, he's, he's a great director and I, I felt, uh, I didn't feel that, that pressure. Y que ese personaje es una figura um, un poco controversial en Argentina, ¿no? Entonces sí. es como ver de qué ángulo a lo mejor personificarlo sin, sin juzgar ni un lado ni el otro, me imagino. Sí, por supuesto. También la película es interesante en el sentido de que no evade el momento más oscuro de Bergoglio, mm. sino que lo atraviesa y lo atraviesa con mucha valentía, digamos. Y eso también me parecía que era interesante, poder mostrar eh, una parte de, de Bergoglio distinta a la que se conoce ahora, que es solamente la de él como papa. Bueno, y hablando ahorita de que estamos hablando en español, <risa> eh, parte de lo que me gustó de la película es que se mantuvo el idioma en toda esa parte sí. argentina. ¿Pudiste influir en esa decisión o simplemente era algo que ya estaba decidido para Era algo más? que estaba decidido. Este, Fernando me parece que en ese sentido era, tenía muy claro que, que la película tenía que tener un feeling muy real y que hubiera sido muy extraño argentinos hablando con otros argentinos, todos en inglés, le hubiera dado algo un poco artificial. Y en este caso la idea es que realmente reflejara <coughs> el origen de, de, de Bergoglio que es en Argentina. And I understand you didn't have the chance to be in the same set as Anthony Hopkins or Price, but I know you've been with them in the festival rounds. How does a conversation start with Anthony Hopkins and Price? Like, how does a conversation go? Do you get nervous? Well, yeah, well, a little bit. I, I work with, with Jonathan. I, I work with Jonathan in London. We rehearse a little bit together. And uh, yeah, at the beginning, of course, I was very nervous because I, I'm a f huge fan of his. Uh, but, uh, but then, you know, you know, actors, they start to talk and everything gets easier. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and before I, I leave, if you had a chance to grant a miracle, would you grant progress or forgiveness? Uh, progress. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you.